Set aside what you think a math program should look like and let me introduce you to something quite unusual. Life of Fred is a math curriculum for students from first grade to advanced high schoolers. The author is a college math professor, Stanley Schmidt, who used to entertain his students with silly stories of Fred. It's a good fit for students who might need more of a challenge. It's mastery-based, neutral, and requires a low amount of teacher interaction only at the elementary level. Components are simple, a hardcover textbook and an optional practice book at some levels. You can use Life of Fred as your standalone math or as a supplement to provide a different explanation from your daily math program. Now that you know a bit about the series, let's learn more about Fred. Hi, Fred. Fred is a five-year-old math professor at Kittens University. He sleeps under his desk in his office, eats out of a vending machine, and has a sidekick, Kingy, that came from a fast food meal. I'll see you in a couple minutes, kiddo. Most books represent one day in the life of Fred. Fred loves math and sees it in everything, everywhere, all the time. The stories are weird and random by design. But guess what? Kids remember the unusual. Every lesson involves reading, teaching students that even math is learned from reading. In fact, kids often want to read their math lessons over and over. The math is shown in real life applications. No more asking, when are we ever going to use this? Also, you'll find that Fred integrates other subjects. Math is not taught in isolation, but with history, art, science, and a variety of other subjects. We're often asked if Fred is a standalone math curriculum. The answer is yes, but we find parents who use Fred as their main math instruction will often add a supplement for additional practice. There are also those who add Fred as a supplement to their main math curriculum. After all, the Fred series is one big story problem where students can see math applied to situations in the life of Fred. Some families use Fred as a daily warm-up activity. Others will add a math workbook to their Fred to practice grade level skills. Let's look at the books themselves and see how they are organized. Remember, Fred is not like any other math program, so traditional grade levels really don't apply. The elementary series for grades one to five includes 10 hardcover, non-consumable math books. Apples, butterflies, cats, dogs, Edgewood farming, goldfish, honey, ice cream, and jelly beans. The book titles are alphabetical and should be done in sequence. However, because Fred is Fred, you can't say that this book covers multiplication or that book introduces fractions. While the level of difficulty increases through the 10 books, each book has a wide variety of concepts. There are no workbooks, answer keys, or teacher guides that go with these 10 books. In fact, parents are encouraged to not play the teacher role at all. The books are written to the students, including a part about sneaking a peek at the answers. Let's take a look at Butterflies Chapter 3, A Bug Up Close. This would typically be about first grade or so. In the narration of this lesson, Fred and Kingy are observing some bugs crawling across Fred's desk. As they came closer, Kingy fled in fear, and a bug crawled right onto Fred's nose. Let's read what happens next. As the bug crawled on his nose, Fred could see what the bug really looked like. If you wanted to count the legs on the bug on the right, the hard way to do it would be to count all the left legs and then all the right legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'd be easier to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Students get the chance to show their knowledge of skip counting in the section called Your Turn to Play. Number one, how many eyes are on these caterpillars? Two, starfish have five legs. How many legs on the starfish? Count by fives. There will be more skip counting later in the book, but this is a cue to a parent to work on skip counting with their child in everyday life. You might reinforce the lesson content by using a number line or a hundred number chart to show your student more factors. This helps cement the concepts taught in Fred. Students using this as their main math program will complete two or three of these books in a year. Many parents will read Fred aloud with their students, let them do the problems on paper, and talk over the answers. This is how parents can check understandings of the math concepts in Fred and know where their student may need more practice. It's an informal assessment, which fits the vibe of Fred. Later, you will have more formal assessments of your child's understanding. Following the elementary series is a set of three intermediate books that continue with the alphabetical theme, kidneys, liver, and mineshaft. 
These books recap the elementary series and serve as a bridge to fractions, decimal percents, and pre-algebra. If you're concerned that the jump to fractions may be too much for your student, consider the intermediate series to help bridge that gap. By about fifth grade, students are ready to venture into the fractions book. This can be a good entry point for those just beginning the Fred series. The two books, fractions and then decimals and percents, are usually done in one school year. Some topics covered include word problems in arithmetic, exponents, sigma notation, adding simple fractions, triangles, diameter, changing percents to fractions, milligrams to pounds, Fahrenheit to Celsius, and loads more. You only need the textbook here, but there are optional practice book with more problems to work out. In true tongue-in-cheek Fred fashion, these are called zillions of practice problems. There are some changes to the format in the lessons. While there is still the Your Turn to Play section, at the end of every four to five chapters, you now have a bridge to complete with solutions. The bridge has 10 questions and they're cumulative. Under a parent's supervision, the students write out the answers to the 10 bridge questions. If they get nine or 10 correct, they move to the next chapter. If not, there's another 10 bridge questions to complete. There are five opportunities to cross the bridge if needed. A final bridge of 15 questions, again with five tries to cross, is at the end of each book. Students may not use calculators at these two levels. Fractions has 32 chapters, decimals and percents has 33 chapters. In the middle school grade, students complete three pre-algebra books. These are pre-algebra zero with physics, pre-algebra one with biology, and pre-algebra two with economics. All three have the optional zillions of practice problem books available. The font is smaller and there's more text, but they follow the same format as the earlier books. I love the introduction in the pre-algebra books. The author compares pre-algebra to being a teenager because it gives a name to the place you stand when you are between two worlds. For a teenager, it's between childhood and adulthood. For math, it's the world between arithmetic and algebra. Like I mentioned, Fred loves to integrate other topics for more diverse learning, but why combine something like biology and math? The point is, you're not teaching math or biology for that matter. You're teaching students. Besides, it's interesting. Each chapter is a lesson. You'll do about one a day. Calculators are allowed now. Also, while there's biology in this book, there's no bathroom humor, or reproduction, or evolution. Let's take a look at chapter 14, Conversion Factors in Pre-Algebra 1 with Biology. Fred has just won a contest with a huge cash prize. It's so much money that our little Fred is struggling to relate to the amount, and he faints. When he comes to, he looks at the check. Fred's salary at Kittens University was $500 per month. The check in his hand was for $75,000. How many months wages was that, he thought to himself. Fred knew about the general rule since he taught that rule in his math classes. The general rule is that if you don't know whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, first restate the problem with really simple numbers. He restated the problem as suppose I were making $2 a month and the check was for $10. Without doing any deep thought, everyone knows $10 is five months wages. You divided to get the answer. So to find out how many months wages at 500 a month, the check for $75,000 represented, Fred divided. A conversion factor is a fraction whose numerator is equal to its denominator. So a conversion factor fraction is always equal to one and multiplying by one is always okay. There are three problems for the student to complete in the your turn to play. In the high school series, you will do beginning algebra, advanced algebra, geometry and trigonometry in that order. There are optional practice books called Zillions of Practice Problems available for both algebra courses, but not for geometry or trig. Beginning algebra is the Fred version of Algebra 1 and has 104 lessons. Advanced algebra is Algebra 2 with 105. Students will do a lesson or more a day. Fred keeps the two years of algebra together rather than sandwiching geometry in the middle. It keeps the algebra fresher in the mind of the student, but it's also because geometry requires a more mature thinker. Each algebra is a one-year course for one high school credit each and are usually done between eighth and 10th grades. And they're an economical option too. 
The high school student who is jumping into Fred at these levels could react in one of two ways. They may roll their eyes and hand it right back at you with a no thanks, or they may think it looks fun and want to have a go. While the storyline is still very present, these books actually look more like a math book with a narrative element. These books are now in expanded editions. It used to be that some Fred books had a textbook and a home companion. These were combined several years ago into the expanded editions. Solutions to the Your Turn to Play problems are shown worked out in the text. Where these courses focus on calculating, manipulating, and computing in geometry, we're creating proofs. Geometry is a more creative math course. You will need at least one year of algebra prior to attempting Fred geometry, but the preference is that you do both beginning and advanced algebra first. There are some basic supplies, a ruler, compass, maybe a protractor, or maybe a calculator with a square root key. Nothing hard to find or unusual. Topics covered include angles and area, circles, constructions, coordinate geometry, modern geometry, points and lines, proofs, solid geometry, triangles, and more. Proofs require a student to explain a theorem in paragraph form. They write a hypothesis in a conclusion. They'll use formulas, theories, and laws in their proofs. This sort of learned logical thinking helps students perform on ACT and SAT exams as those tests become less rote and more thinking-based. Fred is ahead of the curve on this aspect compared to some more traditional high school math programs. Trigonometry is the next course and rounds out what the author considers necessary for high school math. For the student who wants to continue with the life of Fred, they can take calculus, statistics, linear algebra, upper division math, and real analysis. These courses go beyond topics typically covered in the high school level and are considered college level math. To recap, Life of Fred is for students from kindergarten to 12th grade. It uses real life application and problem solving to teach math. While Fred is a full math program, it can also be used as a supplement. It's great for an independent learner or as a conversational math option. Fred is engaging and entertaining. Non-consumable hardcover books will last for years. Life of Fred is not aligned to Common Core standards. While the program is not from a Christian worldview, there are occasional references to Sunday school and God. I can't think of another math curriculum where students become so involved in a main character that they can't wait to do their math for the day. Fred provides the hook for your student to want to learn more math. If you've had tears over math lessons, either the child's or your own, Life of Fred may be just the math you've been looking for. If you have any questions about this or any other math program, contact our consultant team by phone, email, or online chat during business hours.